Next at noon, minutes ago, COPA releasing video of another fatal officer-involved shooting. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Sylvia Perez. We are now getting a look at another deadly police shooting in Chicago that COPA released just minutes ago, showing the death of Anthony Alvarez. Sally Schulze is at the live desk with the latest on this. Sally? Sylvia, even before this video was released, both the mayor of Chicago and lawyers for Anthony Alvarez's family asked for peace in this city. COPA just released several videos of the shooting, shooting showing different angles. And before we roll, I want to warn you, this is going to be difficult for some people to watch. This all happened March 31st in Portage Park. Police have said officers recognized 22 year old Alvarez and pursued him to the area around 5200 West Eddy. Police have said he had a gun. Let's take a listen as the chase goes down the alleyway here. They're going to get closer and you're going to hear them say drop the gun twice and then an officer shoots five times. Let's take a listen. Later in the video, you can hear Alvarez ask, why are you shooting me in an officer response? You had a gun. The family's attorney says the video shows Alvarez was running away from officers. We've gotten several different angles of this shooting. It happened again during a foot chase. This is a different angle that shows some, somebody's home security camera. Alvarez stumbled there, got back up, and then after police shot him, he was down for good. We do know in other videos, they show that the police were trying to revive him. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital. This all happened two days after Chicago police shot and killed 13-year-old Adam Toledo. Once again today, the mayor said that policy needs to be changed. The policy of foot, those foot chases that we've been seeing. Now, through their lawyers, Alvarez's family said they believe that the release of these videos will be the beginning of a long process of healing for the family and for all those who knew and loved Anthony. The mayor says both COPA and the state's attorney's office are investigating this, and COPA is now saying that the officer who fired those shots should be relieved of his police powers. So we've got a lot more videos on our Fox 32 app showing the different perspectives of this and coming up a little bit later, Sylvia, I'm going to break down exactly how this shooting happened because police have released their own version of it. And very soon, of course, we're waiting for the police superintendent to speak about this. Yes, thanks, Sally. We are waiting for Superintendent Brown to come out and talk about this. And as soon as this happens, we will bring this to you live. It appears it looks like he might be walking up right. to the podium now. Um, this will be the first that he has comments to make after seeing this video. Let's go live. Let's listen in. Just a second here as we try to get him. Here we go. Let's take it live. 3500 block of North Laramie Avenue. Alvarez, who was armed with a gun, was shot by police in the 5200 block of West Eddy Street. Officers immediately rendered aid until medical personnel arrived. Alvarez was transport, transported to Illinois Masonic, where he was pronounced. Uh, the body-worn camera footage, of course, as you know, of this incident was released today by the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. Chicago Police Department has also released video footage of this incident. The officer involved in this shooting was placed on routine administrative leave for 30 days following this incident. With that, I'll take questions. That will be uh, revealed uh, with COPA's investigation. I have not heard that from COPA. You have information I don't have. No. Any other questions? So as I mentioned before on police involved shooting, it's important to understand the process. And I think it's important to go over it again, that COPA conducts an independent investigation of police involved shootings of Chicago police officers. Once they've concluded their investigation, at that point, they forward their recommendations to me of whether or not the shooting was within our policy. I then have 90 days as superintendent to either agree or disagree with COPA's recommendation if the discipline recommended was is either a year or separation from the department. Once I make my decision, whether it's agree or disagree, then that's forwarded to the police board for final decision. So until we get to those points, uh, it is really important 
as superintendent and the final decision maker for uh, the Chicago Police Department's recommendation that goes to the police board that I withhold opinion, statements of any fact uh, so that the independence of COPA investigation is clean, clear, and forwarded to me in the normal protocols. Any other questions? When it comes to the yes. That's not accurate. So the officer's statements are to COPA, not to the Chicago Police Department regarding uh, this incident. And COPA will take those statements, not the Chicago Police Department. Okay, so you don't. Okay. I'll just give the same answer. COPA will take those statements from the officer, and at that point, when they complete the investigation, all of that will be forwarded to me. And then at that point, I make my recommendation to agree or disagree. Any other questions? That will be revealed uh, in the COPA investigation. They rendered aid. Uh, that include, included several things, but that will be revealed in COPA's investigation of what all that included. Any other questions? Yes. Oh, I just wrote something in the DO1A. I had reviewed the video uh, several weeks ago. Uh, I've been reviewing it uh, since uh, several times, uh, and so I've had several different, uh, you know, views of the video at several different times, soon after it happened and then uh, thereafter several times. Any other questions? Again, it's really important as a final decision maker that I withhold opinions to not sway the investigation one or the other. COPA's independence is really important. Yes. If you don't mind, I'll get to that. I just want to make sure all the on-topic things are answered. Any other on-topic things related to the Alvarez police involved? COPA will definitely get to that point in, in their investigation. Any other on topic? Yes. So I'm the final decider on, COPA, on COPA's investigation of report, but the mayor is not. So I have to stay uh, non-opinionated on facts until I get that complete investigation. It's really important. For, for the independence. I think the transparency to the public, you, you wouldn't want the, the police department swaying evidence before it's completed its investigation. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Sure. So this is, I'm going to try to answer both of y'all's questions as it relates to, we're, we're moved beyond uh, the subject matter, I'm assuming, no more questions there, foot pursuits. So uh, we are uh, at the point where we have a draft policy that we're sending out uh, through internal focus groups for feedback from our officers, as well as we've developed a plan to go out for uh, community comment, public comment on the policy, as well as at some point forwarded uh, this to the um, independent monitor uh, for our consent decree as well. Um, we will then, uh, once that concluded in the next several weeks, um, we will then develop uh, obviously training around uh, the foot pursuit policy. Uh, all of that is happening concurrently, the community input, the internal communications through focus groups as well as uh, conversations with the independent monitor. All of that is happening concurrently uh, because uh, it's actually very timely uh, given the current circumstances of two police involved shootings with that as a result of foot pursuits. Uh, and then we hope to roll out and implement the foot pursuit policy within the next uh, few weeks. We are uh, obviously uh, proceeding with a sense of urgency as it relates to foot pursuit policies to highlight obviously 
the dangers, uh, not only to officers, the general public, and offenders fleeing. So it really is important for us to get it right. We looked at foot pursuit policies across the country. We've looked at departments who are under consent decree and their foot pursuit policies uh, to get the best uh, standard, best practice for our foot pursuit policy going forward. No, I can't. That's part of the investigation. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So you've been listening to Superintendent Brown talking about the video that was just released by COPA of 22-year-old Anthony Alvarez. This happened in uh, Portage Park, and that was a superintendent talking about the video, saying he could not say much. COPA has, in fact, released that video, and they are recommending that the officer who discharged the fatal gunshots that killed Alvarez be relieved of his police powers during this investigation. You also heard the superintendent saying he could not say too much about what's going on because he now has to do his own investigation. The family has seen the last few minutes of this video. They want to know what led up to this shooting. They are asking for justice. We're going to have much more on this. Sally is coming back in the half hour to tell us more about what we have learned. In the meantime, we'll be right back.